Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kriteman. And what we're going to do this, this time through is we're going to uh, mess with the particle emitter. Now I've been putting this off uh, because there's a lot of things involved with it, but we'll go ahead and get through this together. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and make sure we're in a small scene. Uh, go to Scene, Interface, and down here you'll see uh, Scene's Magnitude. You can change the Scene's Magnitude here. Um, the particle gener generator seems to be... Yeah, it comes in more naturally in the small scene. You have to kind of size them up in other scenes. So let's go ahead and in insert a particle emitter. And let's go ahead and get zoomed in. Now before we do anything else, let's go ahead and set this up so we can uh, do this. First of all, let's go to the render room and make sure our output is in picked mode. Oh, let's go ahead and bump that up and then go over here and then make sure that we're in pick mode because once you move the scrubber on the timeline uh, it automatically puts you in movie mode and we don't want that to happen let's go ahead and take the camera and make sure it's not animated because we're going to move that around a little bit now we can finally zoom in on our particle emitter let's see what our parameters are on our par particle emitter um, I'm going to have a thousand there, let's go ahead and do fifty and this is where your numbers are. Keep it free and scene, sure. Duration 10, all right. Let's go ahead and make that four, just in case we do want to make an animation. And everything's right. Size 20, that might be a little big. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. Now this is just the default uh, particle emitter. And uh, that's like the psycho fountain or something. So we're gonna make we're gonna make something a little bit different here. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and go jump into our front camera, and let's insert a plane. Take that. Let's size it with Shift S. kind of tiny because we're going to make this into a particle. Alright, that's cool. Uh, let's duplicate it. And duplicate it again and duplicate it again. And now let's change our names on our planes. we got plane 1. You click down here, go up here, plane 2, plane 3, and plane 4. Now we're going to need uh, extra shaders. Let's go ahead and make uh, a shader for each one. New master shader, new master shader, new master shader. And I'm right clicking and doing this, new master shader. Let's jump into the first shader. And our color is going to be a texture map. And these are going to be texture maps that we used from the last tutorial. Um, there's one of them right click copy this and paste in the glow so we don't have the light effect in it and we're going to do the same thing to these guys too texture map and not that one. there we go and just for the sake of expediency let's just go ahead and uh, not mess with the glow part of it texture map Right there, and double click on this one, and make this a texture map. You kind of get the idea, right? Yuck. Yeah, there we go. Kind of gives us a little variety, and we can see what's going on with our uh, particles. Okay, now that we've done this, let's go ahead and jump over here, and let's go ahead and assign each one of these to one of these and I didn't do this now uh, I keep my uh, texture map size really low when I'm doing my previews because uh, 7 seems to have a problem with it we have to redo these it looks like one there one there and one there. 
there we go cool now here's the here's the part that's gonna that's uh, gonna make your renders worth it let's jump back into our particle emitter and uh, we're going to use uh, objects as our particles and our objects are going to be the the planes that we just made uh, go all the way to the go to the advanced tab and go all the way down to the bottom and let's add plane one add plane two and you notice that they're disappearing each object as you add it uh, disappears from the list kind of makes it easy to see what you put in here as particles all right um, there are a lot of different options in here we'll probably mess with some of these later but let's go ahead and uh, see what we have so far as far as our particles okay I thought those were going to be big they're actually pretty small um, let's go ahead and our particle emitter and we want it, we do want them a little bit bigger so what do we got point 20 as our size now you notice that uh, in the at least in the uh, uh, oh the book <laughs> uh, that I that I got with it um, it doesn't have this this section in here the particles creation so it doesn't say that the size is inches to feet or whatever but uh, you know we're gonna go ahead and muddle through that point fifty see what we got see how that looks you notice when you move your scrubber the values change because they automatically change in this uh, in Carrera Let's go ahead and bump that up a little bit and this is just a psycho fountain but you can add it to you could you could uh, load a preset particle emitter and uh, you can get some uh, you can get some pretty cool effects explosions and all that kind of stuff that's one of the cool things about Carrera. It comes with its own particle emitter, and you know you got to pay extra in every other package. So thanks, Carrera, <laughs> for that. Anyway, uh, this is what we got, and you notice that uh, everything comes in and uh, looks exactly how it would. Your alpha channel. Use your alpha channels as much as you can when you use your particle emitter. It gives you a lot more control of the image that you're going to um, make. So, anyway, that was it. Uh, quick and easy. Uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.